In our last podcast, we talked about the germs. This time, we will talk about food poisoning. So what is food poisoning? Well, food poisoning happens when you swallow food that contains bacteria. Look at this picture. It shows moldy strawberries. If you eat them, you will get sick. But remember that even though you can see mold in this picture, you can't see most bacteria and viruses because they are too tiny. So even though the food looks good and clean, it doesn't mean that it is safe to eat. So what happens after you eat food with bacteria? Well, the bacteria gets into your stomach and it causes inflammation. Can you see that red color? This is inflammation in your stomach. This is when you start to feel sick. You want to throw up. You might have a fever. And upset stomach. Sometimes you feel sick right after you eat food with bacteria. Sometimes, though, you might start feeling sick days after you eat contaminated food. Well, look at this picture. This here is turkey bacteria. So even though this turkey looks good, guess what? It has bacteria. If you eat it, you will get sick. Do you need to see a doctor when you get food poisoning? Well, usually you will not feel sick for a very long time. However, sometimes you might need to see a doctor. If you go to see a doctor, he or she will ask you a lot of questions. Like, how are you feeling? What did you eat and when? The doctor might give you some medicine and if you are very sick, you might need to go to hospital for a couple of days. If you don't want to go to hospital, if you don't want to go and see a doctor, if you don't want to get food poisoning, guess what? You can fight germs. You can prevent food poisoning. One of the best ways to do it is to wash your hands, especially when you help in the kitchen, especially when you help preparing food. You should wash your hands before you start helping so germs from your hands won't get on the food and after so you don't pass along germs from the food to yourself or anybody else. Now let's think about how germs travel. Well, imagine that you are helping in the kitchen. You are helping to make meatballs. Well, you are touching the meat. So now the bacteria from the raw meat gets on your hands. If you shake hands with your sister or with your brother, the bacteria from your hand will get on his or her hand. So now if she or he uses the hand to eat a snack, guess what? The bacteria from the hand will get into his or her mouth and will make them sick. So remember, if you don't want to get food poisoning, you should always wash your fruit and vegetables You should only eat foods that are properly cooked. So if you cut into chicken and it looks pink inside, like here, do not eat it. Tell an adult. Keep your food in the fridge and remember to always wash your hands.